Welcome to Benidorm. Now you'll instantly recognize the building behind me as the Solana. For 10 years, that was the hotel that was so famous in our living rooms. But now, the Casa Benidorm has a new home. From the seaside and now to the stage, and it's right here, right now, at the Bristol Hippodrome. Welcome back to the Bristol Hippodrome. We're on the stage now in the Solana with two of the stars of Benidorm Live. We've got Tony Morsley and Shelley Longworth. Guys, thank you for inviting me into the Solana. I've got to say, pleasure. it looks exactly how I expected it to look close up. Doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Very weird for us when we came onto the set for the first time and we saw all the things that we're used to seeing out in Spain, even down to the ceramic donkey on the um, counter in reception. And Wow, they've nicked it all and they've Is it the it same one? The same donkey. Oh, yeah. yeah. My oh. Betty desk yeah. and quite, sign. I mean, quite no a expense lot, quite, quite a lot of it is the actual stuff. From, I think the wheel is, I think the sign is. So has it all moved out then, the set that you, because you had a purpose built? We had a purpose built set, yeah, thing, in, in a building in um, Benidorm and only two weeks ago actually they sent us photographs of the set being stripped out. Oh. So it's gone to the big bonfire oh. in the sky. Yeah. But. You know, taking it around the country in in a spinning Solana. I know. It's, it's got to be impressive, Mark Walters. Yeah, Walters. yeah. There's Mark. lots of moving parts, but it must be a really nice way to say, you know, like give it a last hurrah, a farewell to yeah, the show. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we think of ourselves as the lucky six that were chosen to be in the show, um, so we've got that sort of eight months grace to come to terms with the end of it and say a proper goodbye really which no. some of the others didn't look at you you your you're characters you know. tears in your eyes yeah. Yeah. oh tr trust me I, I i have cried a few times we we did a a karaoke night in hull a few weeks ago and Asa <laughs> elliott sang one of our anthems from um our benedorm night house and i burst into tears but to be fair i've had quite had a, a few jagermeisters jager bombs <laughs> yeah. trays of jager yeah, bombs trays of them. so <laughs> when the show started i mean you both weren't in there from the start but you've been in there for a long time so did you know going into it how much of a, of a cultural phenomenon it is now because everybody and their grandma watches Benidorm together it's true I mean it was very popular then in series four but it has grown and grown it's really it? grown yeah I mean it was it was a sort of little known well not little known but it, it wasn't a huge success it used to be on ITV at half past ten at night um, it was a very different show then it was much darker and I think once it moved to the nine o'clock slot which was kind of when we joined wasn't it it became more of a family affair when all members of a family would gather around the telly and watch it so we kind of came at the right time really when it became really popular didn't yeah. we so when you're going around all the different cities are you sort of like is it sinking in just how much of a massive thing this is because it's, it's a decade's worth of fun in the Solana isn't it that's, yeah. that's now is being played out not in people's living rooms but literally maybe a hundred feet in front yeah. of their face. It's been amazing because you get the laughter that you don't get obviously when you're filming on set and to hear how much the audiences care about the characters, think the characters are funny, you know, and love the characters. I is think that's just what we've wonderful. come to realise, which yeah. we didn't really take on board before is they've invested 10 years in these characters and they know them so well and they love them. Mm. They adore these characters and I kind of feel like kicking ITV in a way, saying so you need to come and see the show because you've made a big mistake. Do you know what? I am a bit of a super fan of Benidorm um, and Kenneth is a bit of a, let's say a style icon to me. So uh, I say, I'll, just, I'll just show you. Um, Oh my god. I, uh, I picked out these because I thought it was appropriate. <laughs> what do you think? Is this Kenneth? They I think they're do nicely. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, well, they're two tone as well. They, uh, well, no, they, that was, that, that's the next layer. If you didn't have orange, I had pink. Uh, very um, good. So, what, what would, Kenneth, would Kenneth. He goes for both of those, would I think. Yeah, they're, they're both garish enough, yeah. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Oh, I think I might Explosion pop out there. if I uh, sit down, so I'm just going <laughs> to. You better pull those back up. Yeah, you don't want to be popping out on the telly. <laughs> no, absolutely not. So let's talk. Oh, wait, wait. I'll Have sit you down shrunk first. those on a ball wash? <laughs> they're I actually. I, I actually bought them in uni for a night out. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about your characters then because two huge figures for completely different reasons uh Shelley, let's start with you because sam came to benidorm and then she uh well she works for benigo but she yes. didn't go did she she came and never left i know well i came as a holiday maker and then ended up a holiday taker taking everyone's money and sending them on sort of um tours uh so that was kind of cool that uh, she's come back and now is scamming 
and Scammy uh, Sam. Scammy Sam. But yeah. uh, so uh, Sam's first storyline was she was sort of like one of those unlucky and love ladies, you know, the whole yes. Mateo arc. But now she's got her own thing, which that was really yeah, nice. Yeah, it was really nice. Yeah, to find she found something she was actually good at. She wasn't very good at sort of not falling over and breaking something, and she wasn't very good at finding love. But she was actually very good at being a you know holiday rep, and I think she was you know she fitted in really well with the whole fa you know Benedorm family yeah. and Solana family and in this show she's actually really shows her heart I think she's not so wicked and scammy she's actually caring for Liam and his dad caring that Solana is you know maybe going to close down and be taken over and I get to sing a wonderful song by Faith Hill. Oh, great um, pipes, by the way. Oh, thank Look you very you much. There. Which is, I think, you know, Darren Litton's um, thank you for the 10 years to all the fans and, for, and a goodbye to, to, for yeah. us, mm. you know, which I've really enjoyed as well on the live show. So, talking about Sam's scamminess, does that <laughs> come from you at all? Are those any traits that she's borrowed? Um, I'm not really a, I don't think I'm a scammer. I think I can have a wicked tongue at times. And, uh, no, you're too honest for your own good, aren't you? Oh, well, how about you, Tony? Where does Kenneth get all his mannerisms from? I, I, do you know, I don't know. Ke Kenneth is something that changed in the early years. Um, again, like Sam, he came to Benidorm on holiday. Um, by default, somebody dropped out of a holiday, so he was offered a freebie and um, came up and basically fed his face on the free buffet and <laughs> got drunk on the free cocktails and then had such a good time. At the end of series four, I think his last line was a bit of an Arnold Schwarzenegger. He said, I'll be back. And then when you saw him again in series five, they'd given him blow and go, his own salon. And he kind of just flew from there, really. He, um, he wasn't reliant on the person that had brought him there. He was his own entity from there on. And yeah. they just let me fly with him. They reined me in sometimes, but um, yeah, they kind of give me free reign to create, really. But and where did it all come from? Well, exactly. Yeah. Where does it? Did the, Kenneth just comes as a complete package. Yeah. But I'm sure it's a bit of Darren. It's a bit of everyone working in to create this yeah. sort of like cartoon monstrosity that yeah. everyone's come to love now. But I'm just wondering because you've played him for so long, does he ever slip out in real life? Um, Watch it. So, sometimes, out the <laughs> so, sometimes if I'm on Twitter, I'm being a bit of a keyboard warrior, and everyone's like. That's Kenneth, that's Kenneth. Yeah. Oh, I need to pull back a little bit. Well, you're sort of Jekyll and Hyde yeah, now. There's exactly, Tony yeah. and then there's T Kenneth. T Tony's not as brash as no. Kenneth, and Tony has to be a bit more careful what he says, whereas Kenneth, I always say his, hot, his hot pants are his mask, and <laughs> as soon as those hot pants go on, he can say what he wants and t does what he wants and never apologises for anything. And that aspect of him I got from Paul O'Grady, who's a really good friend of mine, who I did a sitcom with years ago, and. Paul never apologises for who he is or what he says, and I took that aspect of Paul and gave it to Kenneth. You were out there for long periods of time in the real Benidorm. So, what was that like? That sort of juxtaposition of like, here's Benidorm, you know, extra, extra XXL, which we're putting on, and then real Benidorm, which maybe isn't too too far from from no, what you're from portraying. What, no, absolutely not. Do you remember the day we arrived? We arrived together because we started together. And, we were sort of looking at this concrete jungle going, oh my, my God. God, we're here for three and a half, four months. And very quickly we kind of got into the swing of it, didn't yeah. we? Probably day one, actually. But, you know, going out and being shown, this is Sticky Vicky, and yeah. this is, there was a man who used to ride that bicycle. Do you yeah, with the long legs. With the long legs. But I think, by, by <laughs> about, I think on mine, mine and yours day off, me and Shelley sort of went out to investigate. We found this bar called The Black Chicken. And we went there because they yeah, did, we, we, got, we, sang, we got drunk and then we found out they gave you free pork pies if you sang, so we get to no. see them. We were like on the karaoke all afternoon. We were it was hammered, so weren't we? much fun. So where in Spain is making pork pies? That's what I remember. Well, uh, bacon and egg as well. I mean, you've got little mini England in there, right in the middle Greg's. of Benidorm. What's it called? It's, it's yeah, Benidorm's, it's, Benidorm's answer to, to Greg's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there's, there's, there's a quick save, but they spell it with a Q. Yeah. Don't they? Yeah, no, they rip, rip off all the British. So you, you've got this little square mile in the middle of this beautiful place, actually. I mean, Benidorm gets a bad rep, but it's actually really beautiful. Stunning beach. But it's been um, taken over, this little square mile where all the British madness goes on. So, so is there any, uh, any bits of Benidorm that you've brought back with you? Is there anything that you, that you just can't shake now? Because it's, it's part of your life now, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, do you mean materialistically? Well, anything. Well, yeah, I mean, I managed to nab the <laughs> blow and go sign from the set. Yeah, I had a little word with the um, one of with, with our Andy Vining, who was one of our set, set people. people. And I just said, can I have that? And he's like, 
and he, he did. He, he wrapped it up and posted it back to me. So I've now got it in the basement of my house, <laughs> lighting up the room. I've made it into a light box. So I've got that forever. A little yeah, piece of memorabilia. I've, I guess I've got lots of memories, and I definitely would go back. Um, even though the show's over, and I would holiday in that area, definitely. There's, you know, and I think Darren got given a sort of medal from the mayor of Benidorm because he's done so much mm. for tourism. Because there is so much to do out there. Families, you've got Albir, Altea, you know, it's beautiful. Yeah, it is so beautiful. It is a I'm place not sure I could go back quite really. yet, though. Not yet, no. but I'm saying in I, the future. I, I think if I went back now, I'd feel... Too sad. sad. No, but because I'd take my kids there yeah, one day. The circus isn't in town. This is where I used say. to film Benidorm. Well, yeah. you could sort of walk around in your hot pants and just wait for the crowds <laughs> to appear. And people. Okay, so let's get back to your characters. Yeah. And this is one of the questions that I really wanted to ask. So, Shelley, let's start with you first. Where would Sam send me on on a Benidorm excursion? Uh, I've got, I've got to go first. into the, the British Square and you'd have to go to Shamrocks. The floor is very sticky from all the drinks and there's a great Irish band and we'd jig in there for a bit and then maybe go to Idols for some karaoke. Perfect. What's, what would be my song? Mm, what song might you sing? I just went Justin Bieber in my head. Oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't actually I'll, know I'll what Bieber song. I'll sing Robbie. Is that all right? I'll do <laughs> okay. a bit of Robbie. Yeah, do Robbie. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Tony, what would Kenneth do with these split ends? <laughs> oh, uh, let me tend to your split end is one of his old oh. T-shirts. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Tony. <laughs> oh, well, he, he'd definitely give you a head massage. Okay. Yeah, yeah he, he, like, he likes doing head massages. You, you've been blowing over quite a while, I think. Okay. Yeah. Make Liam do all the hard work. Make Liam do all the hard work. <laughs> yeah. oh, I don't want one of Liam's yeah. haircuts if I saw anything last night was to go by. Um, is it a farewell tour? Do you know? Well, well, at the moment it is, but I mean, this tour has been so phenomenally successful and this set cost a few bob, I can tell you. So I've got a feeling it might not be put to bed just yet. And we are hoping for a movie. Wow. Yes, that would we're, be we're fun, pushing Darren for a movie. Yeah. Maybe because he didn't get a chance to wrap up the show properly. Right. So we said a movie would be good. Maybe Kenneth and Sam take Ibiza. Yeah. Well, we're thinking further afield than that. The Garveys are in Vegas. Oh, are they? In the story. So we think, I'm thinking hairdressing convention in Vegas. Cool. Yeah. We'll see. That would, that would suit very well, wouldn't it? Yeah. That would suit very, very well. Okay, so just then finally, what does Benidorm mean to you? I mean, what, what's, what is the thing that you know, will sort of stay with you forever from Benidorm? The show. Oh, for me, definitely the people I've worked with over the last eight years. I mean, just brilliant people and just through longevity. I mean, they've come become my second family and come April, I'm going to be heartbroken when the next thing is not in place where I will naturally see them. I'll have to sort of go and hunt them down. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Uh, I don't know. I imagine we'll be doing quiz shows 10 years down the line <laughs> as ex cast members of Benidorm. Yeah. But that, I mean, that's going to be heartbreaking not seeing them every year. Yeah, I agree. You, I agree. It's a friendships and playing these fantastic characters and just having a job where you love filming and then you sort of pinch yourself as you're lying on a sun lounge. You're going, is this possibly one of the best jobs I'll ever have? Uh, in yeah. that sense of. It's going to be tricky board. going back to playing something else where I'm not allowed to mince. I'll be I'll be in Poirot or something that mincing long day. No, 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 no mincing. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, it's been an absolute dream and a pleasure to speak to you. Thank you. Don't get too sentimental. You've still got a, uh, more dates. We have here We've in Bristol. Then you're in Birmingham for a month. So yeah, lots but we're, we're, we're going until April. We're going until the end of April. So if not more. We I don't think know we've yet. We've done 83 shows and we've got about 250. Yeah, days, so we're not so even halfway through so yet. I think we've no, no time to cry yet. Yeah, plenty of time to buy your tickets and still come and see yes, us. Please and come and see us. Say goodbye or maybe not. So, folks, Shirley, Tony, it's been an absolute pleasure to speak to you. Benidorm is here all this week at the Bristol Hippodrome. Then it heads up to Manchester and then to Birmingham for the whole of December. Yeah.